daylight hours. Albot preserves energy by going into a standby mode. This includes the use of a rather fetching screensaver. However, Albot can be woken by even the slightest sound, ever aware of its surroundings. The source of this frankly disturbing sound is Snailbot, sporting a 12cm subwoofer and a 3cm tweeter with 40 watts of output that blasts out clumsily produced rap music, which unsettles nearby ostrich bots. Easily startled, they spring into action. Their powerful and agile hydraulics carrying them forward with pinpoint accuracy. Well, most of them. The ostrich bot shakes off its contact with this ancient relic. Little is known about these strange formations. Leading researchers believe that they were created along with the rest of this world by an all-powerful entity, a being with unfathomable strength and perfect eyesight. Oh, hey, Louis here, introducing the final installment of the Robotic Planet course. And this one has two robot chapters. First, starting with Snailbot. For this chapter, we will again be focusing on the unique parts of the bot. Firstly, we will look at the techniques used to model the shell, using sub-D modifiers, loop tools, and shrink wrap to guide the geometry, to ensure accurate speaker cutouts and smooth but subtle curves, while manipulating the underlying mesh. We'll then move on to looking at how we can mix curves with armatures to create dynamic armoured plating. Then on to the main event, which is the Snailbot's audio abilities. We'll start simple by hooking up some audio to our speakers, then dive in a little bit further by setting up a graphic equaliser display that accurately represents our chosen frequency bands of our chosen music. And for a bit of icing on the cake, we'll inject a bit of groove into our snail bot by utilising performance capture as well as automated animation drivers. Turning down the volume a little bit, but up the height, we'll look at Ostrich Bot. We'll see how we can take advantage of collection instances to guide our modelling process, creating and rigging detail feathers in the process. And then on to IK, or inverse kinematics. But to make things a little bit more complicated, we'll be adding hydraulics and cables in the mix. Then it's on to animation, and we will start by setting up an action and creating a running loop. And then challenge ourselves to create a flock of ostrich bots. But instead of just duplicating it in the same scene, we'll be creating an asset, importing it into a new scene and creating library overrides. This is not only the approach favoured by studios, but it also helps out the solo artist, as we have one asset file that can be changed, which is easily populated over multiple scene files, as well as keeping our file footprint relatively small. Okay, that is enough talking if you already own the course. I will see you over at cgboost.com forward slash robots. If not, now's a really good time to jump in because there has never been more content. And if you're undecided, then why not check out the original launch video here? And thanks for watching.